how to create a movers and packers website with wordpress hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own website like a movers and packers website on wordpress so having said that let's just jump into the video now first things first you're going to need a hosting plan and you're going to need to create a website and you can get your hosting plan from a lot of different hosting services like bluehost or hostinger or namecheap and once you've gotten that and you've installed your wordpress website this is how it's going to look like right the next step for you to do is you're going to have to find a template for your website now there are a couple of ways right if you go with a free version you won't find the templates that you were looking for because these types of websites don't really have free templates so because they're not really popular and not a lot of people use it and only the people who are serious about this stuff use it so of course they're not going to be free so where can you find them where well, there are a couple of places the one that i recommend is envato elements all right number one is because you can actually get a lot of stuff on from envato and also they also give you like a free seven day trial so you can get the trial and then you can download as many website templates as you want and then you probably you can end them so over here as you can see uh 16 dollars per month and you can get a seven day free trial and you can get anything you want and you can cancel it anytime as well so get this trial and then you can move on so let's just you've gotten it you've signed up you're good to go right so let me just go ahead and sign in and i'll catch you guys in a second now once you have signed in we are good to go now what we're going to do is we're simply going to go ahead and onto the search bar and we're going to select the wordpress option over here from the categories and we're just simply going to search for movers and packers and we're going to search for it and then it's going to show us a bunch of different templates that we can use so over here so these are the templates that were you know directly related to the keywords that we put in and then down below these are like similar websites that we can use right so over here you can choose whichever website you want and you are good to go and the process is going to be very simple so over here i like this website personally because of the darker colors you can opt for a different type of template as well and within this website kit basically this is a kit right within this kit you're going to have all these different pages and you can get a live preview as well so let's go ahead and take a look at this website and see how it looks like when it's completely you know functioning well well it's taking quite some time to load up oh wait actually it has so it's still loading up and it, we're still not getting a live preview okay so i'm gonna pause this video right here and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so this is how it looks like it looks pretty cool really nice yeah i think this could work okay so let's go ahead and download this website as you can see it's pretty amazing so to download it just simply click on the download button and just simply create a project and then just simply add and download and you are good to go and once you've downloaded it we can go ahead and move on now once you've downloaded it you're going to need another plugin with which you can import this theme kit into wordpress so let's go into the plugin store all right click on add new plugin and we're just simply going to click over here we're going to search for import kit and this is the plugin that we want template kit import by envato right so we just simply install this template right here simply install it and activate it and we are good to go then we just simply activate the template and yep we are good to go then we just wait for the download to finish for the site kit and we can move on and once it's downloaded we are good to go now what we need to do is we go back over here then over here on the left side you're going to see tools option and underneath tools you're going to click on the template kit over here and then it's going to open up the envato template kit and then you just simply upload the kit zip file so we click on this plus icon this giant plus icon and then we select the kit that we want to import and we just simply click on the button open and it's going to be imported over here and there you go so as you can see these are all the pages that we can see over here and we can go ahead and import all of these pages right so first things first what we need to do is we need to import the global site kit style so we'll just simply click on import this page right here wait for it to be imported and we are now good to go so as you can see we it's now imported next we can go ahead and import our main stuff right such as our home page so we're going to need the home page right here then maybe the about section then maybe the service pages as well 
and then we can add like a contact form and then we can add the footer and we are good to go now as you can see over here before we i missed the step but before you actually go ahead and import this you're gonna need to you know add these required plugins that it needs so there are five requirements that need to inst be installed for this template kit to work properly so we'll just simply click on install requirements select all the ones and we'll just simply click on install the above requirements and we are good to go all right so as you can see missing requirements are all installed and we are good to go so we can go ahead and close it and then we can import it again maybe and yeah so it pretty much you know it all depends on you what type of website you're trying to build as i said before you can go ahead and import individual pages or you can import all the pages all together so basically we're gonna need a you know header we're gonna need a home page we're gonna need like about section as well maybe a service page as well and then maybe we can add like a pricing table and then we can add like a contact form or stuff like that and we can add this one as well and then we are good to go so pretty much that's it and we also need the footer as well so you can go ahead and import all of these pages one by one but it all depends on you so once you've imported all the pages we are good to go we can move on so just simply going to wait for these pages to be imported it's going to take a little while but we're going to move on so i'm going to pause this video right here and i'll catch you guys in a second okay for some reason i keep getting a error so i can't really import some of these pages i don't know why that's happening but some of these pages have been imported some i can't import uh, there's like a error within the html code of these pages so i think i'm gonna simply just gonna change up the theme so this looked pretty cool but i guess i'm gonna go with this one as well so i'm gonna change the theme and i'm gonna download this one i'm gonna do all the steps for you and once it's imported i'll catch you guys in the next step okay so they actually imported again so i reloaded the page tried it again and most of the pages that i wanted have now been imported so we're going to move on and you know customization of this website so let's go ahead and see all of our pages so over here on the left side you're going to see your pages option right or you just simply come over here on to appearances or you click on templates over here and click on saved templates you're going to see all of the pages that you're going to see so over here we can see all of the pages that we have so we have the contact form we have the header we have the blog we have the pricing testimonials home and all of that right and you can see over here which type of page is it so this is a footer so this is a section type about is a page home is also a section services is a page as well and we are good to go so now moving on we have to input a theme so i would recommend using the theme of elementor which is its standard theme which is the hello theme although you can go ahead and choose whichever theme you want but i would recommend for the easeability and you know because the original hello theme is very simple to use that's why i recommend using the hello theme with your elementor so that you know you can edit them pretty simply and once you use it you're going to be set for life so but it all depends on you you can change and use other themes as well it all depends on you so for that let's go over here and click on the appearance and we're going to click on themes right and over here as you can see we have the astro theme we have the 21 and all of that but uh we just simply click on add new theme and over here you will see it so over here as you can see you have the hello elementor theme but if you don't find it over here you, you can always search for it over here in the search bar and you can see it over here so you have the hello mobile hello academy and all of that right and then scroll below you can see hello elementor as well so let's go ahead and install the theme and move on so right now it's installing and once it's installed we are good to go and then we just simply activate the theme as well so that it's activated and we can move on there we go now it's activated and now we can move on to the main part of this video so now we can move over here onto the theme builder over here right let's go back to the save templates now how would you actually you know put these pages within your website well it's pretty simple you go into the theme builder right but as you can see right here there's like a lock over here like a padlock which indicates that this is part of the pro plan so we can't use that so we're gonna go ahead and fix this we're gonna have to show you you know a work around this so that you can actually you know go ahead and use it so you don't have to pay for it so for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna go into pages and over here you can see all of your pages right so we have all these pages 
Now what we're going to do is actually, I'm just simply going to delete some of these pages. I'm going to delete all of them and I'm going to show you how you can create a new one. So let's go ahead and create a new one. I'll click on add new page, right? And we're just simply going to call it home over here. And then we're just simply going to click on publish and publish. And then we are good to go. Now we just simply going to go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. It's going to load up and it's going to open us and take us to the Elementor website builder tool where we can actually edit it out. So over here, this is how it looks like. Now, as you can see, we already have a pretty basic theme that we that I had previously used, but I don't want that. We want a blank canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings and over here we have status right and we have the page layout we're going to change it to elementor canvas and we're just simply going to click on update so we have now a canvas but and now what we're going to do is we can go ahead and import our theme so normally you would just simply click over here and add a section right or you can go ahead and click on the page and you can insert the pages automatically you could do that as well but since we have a envato theme we're just going to choose envato option over here and we have the site themes over here so we're going to click on view installed kit and we're going to import all of these one by one so first what we're going to do is we're going to upload a header then we're going to upload the home page and all of that and move on so let's go ahead and insert template over here and we're going to wait for it to be imported so now we have a blank canvas and we're just simply going to go ahead and import our template so over here we have a bunch of different options now normally you would just simply click over here and add as you know structure to the section or you can go ahead and import your pages from here but since we are using a Envato theme template so it's best to trust with Envato and go with this button right here so now we're just going to view the installed kits we're going to import some of these pages all right so there are two requirements that we need to actually you know go ahead so basically we should let me just install these real quickly Okay, so now that we have that, now let's go ahead and import some of these, you know, options. So let's go ahead and import the header first. So we're going to click on import header. Now it's going to go ahead and import the header. And I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, so I actually had to change my theme again because that theme, as I said before, it didn't properly import. I thought it did, but it actually didn't. And when I actually put the theme over here, it was very bad. It did not look as good like there were elements missing the colors were all over the place it did not look good there were there were like a few bugs in it so i had to change the theme i went back with the movery theme as you can see over here so this was the one that i'm using so now as you can see i've imported the header so let's move on so depending upon the theme you use the process is going to be exactly the same but it all depends on you now let's go ahead and import the home theme over here the home page so right now it's importing and as you can see this is how it looks like right so it looks pretty cool looks pretty simple everything looks pretty nice uh, it's a little bit slow that's because you know a lot of elements are loading over here my computer can't take it but as you can see it's pretty nice it's pretty smooth now let's go ahead and add a footer section as well so uh, you can also add like a service page or a pricing plan or others but as i said before it all depends on you what pages you want to actually be shown on your website so as i said before this is a demo video i'm just showing you how you can do it so now i'm just simply going to import the footer and now we are good to go let me just update the site real quick and now let's go ahead and preview the changes and see how it looks like all right so this is how it looks like as you can see over here looks pretty nice looks pretty good there is a structure missing over here i would say there's supposed to be something over here maybe like a form but we can fix that later as well. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. It looks pretty cool. looks pretty sweet. Everything was working professionally and everything looks really nice. So let's go ahead and take care of that form real quick now. So this was it, right? So if we click over here, this was the form over here. Of course, we're going to have to input a form. So let's go ahead and add that. So over here, if you click at the top, it's going to all pop up this one over here, which says edit form over here. So you just simply click over here and you can select the form that you want, right? So you can select the form that you've already created, or you can select the ones over here that you can see. But uh, creating a form is very simple as well. So let me just show you. For that one, we need to have this one called the Metform. This is the plugin that we installed, which will came with the theme. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So we're going to go back over here on the dashboard and we can see we have the option Metform right here. We're going to click over here. All right. So we're just simply going to skimp through all of this. Yeah, we don't want that. We're going to enter in our email over here and we have this one right here. So we already have this one Elementor kit. So we've already activated it. We can install the other ones. It all depends on you. So I'm just simply going to skip through this and save changes. And now we are good to go. All right. So now we just simply click over here onto the form section over here we're going to add the form so as you can see there is no form that's why it didn't show us so let's go ahead and add a form click on add new we have the general settings over here so we can add the title over here we can say like you know um pickup or booking or whatever so we can add like a pickup location right so we can say like pickup and we can have like a thank you for submitting hey okay, that's good we have all of the other ones as well everything is you know self-explanatory over here you can go ahead and do that then you have the confirmation over here you can add like a confirmation email so that you can send an email to your customers that hey that your form has been submitted we've you know received your email and we are good to go then we have your integrations as well but everything else looks good then all you got to do is click on save changes right and we of course need to edit this as well so we'll click over here and we click on edit content and now we're gonna go ahead and edit the form over here in elementor so over here you have this one so you can go ahead and add like a text over here so first we need to add like a text so we'll just add the text over here and we'll just change the label to your first name or your full name and we're gonna paste it over here as well in the placeholder as well we're gonna click on update next we also need to add another one and we'll just say we'll add another one as well and over here we'll click on the plus icon and we'll again add another one we'll just say you know pick up location i really don't know you know what people add over here you know as a pick up and movers type of website i don't know what type of form they use what type of information they require but as i said before this is like an example and this i want to add a drop off location over here copy that and paste that over here and i'm going to update that as well and then we can add another one as well so in this one we can add let's say uh let me see over here we can add like a number you know phone number as well i think that's pretty self-explanatory we're going to add another one and then we can add like a submit button as well so we'll just add that over here we'll click on submit and we are good to go pretty much that's it then we just simply update and save and then we just exit to the dashboard right and we have it right here so this is the met form and this is it right here now we go back to the editor and we click on the edit and we select the form this is the pickup form and we just simply click on edit form and we just simply click on update and close and surely we will have the form right here so here we go as you can see we have the form right here we are good to go so that is pretty much it that's how you do it next all you need to do is just you know edit some of these details out like you know you can change the name of this you know website you can change the background you can change the text by just simply clicking on it you know you can go ahead and change it and pretty much that's it so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye